Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you how to make mini watermelon. I've prepared three types of watermelon. These are the required materials. Let's make watermelon slice. I will choose green yarn and 3 mm crochet hook. Firstly, let's make a slip knot. Place the yarn inside the hook and pull the yarn. You will cut a slip knot. Make plain chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now we got 10 chain. Start it from the second chain from the hook. Make 8 single crochet. Don't forget to mark with a stitch marker. Now let's make second single crochet and then three four five single crochet three single crochet seven single crochet and eight single crochet after that make Three single crochet into the same stitch. One, two, and three. And then make seven single crochet on the other side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. After that, make two single crochets into the same stitch, and then make slip stitch to the first stitch. This will be row one. For row two, make one chain, and then make twenty single crochet. After making 20 single crochets, insert the hook into the first chain. Then chain with white color yarn. Make a slip knot. Insert the hook into slip knot of white yarn. Pull through the yarn. The green yarn. For row 3, make 1 chain. After that, make 3 single crochet and 1 decrease. Don't forget to mark with a stitch marker. I repeated this pattern you are cut row 3.
That's the end of the row. Remove the stitch marker and insert the hook into the first chain. Now, let's chain with red color yarn. Make a slip knot. Insert the hook into the slip knot of red yarn. Pull through the yarn. And then cut the white yarn. For row 4, make 1 chain and 15 finger crochet. After making 16 finger crochet, make a slip stitch to the first stitch. You will cut a total of 16 finger crochet for row 4. For row 5, make 1 chain. After that, make 2 single crochet and 1 decrease. By repeating this pattern, you will cut row 5. At the end of the row, make a slip stitch to the first stitch. You will cut a total of 12 single crochet. For row 6, make 1 chain and 12 single crochet. After making 12 single crochet, make a slip stitch to the first stitch. You will cut a total of 12 single crochet for row 6. For row 7, make 1 chain. After that, make 1 single crochet. Don't forget to mark with a stitch marker. After making 1 single crochet, stop with 5 of it. And then make one decrease. I repeated the pattern of one single crochet and one decrease. You will get row seven. At the end of the row, make a slip stitch to the first stitch. For row 8, make 1 chain and then make 8 single crochet. You will cut a total of 8 single crochet.
at the end of the row, make a slip stitch to the first stitch. For row 9, make 1 chain and then make 4 degrees. Stuff a gun with fiber fill. At the end of the row, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. After that, cut the yarn and fasten off. Use the yarn needle to close the hole. Insert the needle only into the front loose of row 9. Pull the yarn to tighten up. Cut the yarn. Choose black yarn to make this.
Now we got watermelon slice. Let's make another type of watermelon slice. Firstly, we will use red yarn. Make a magic ring. Twist the yarn like this. Insert the hook. Pull the yarn and do like this. You will get a magic ring. After that, make two chain. And then make then half double crochet. Overcut to mark with a stitch marker. This will be row 1. At the end of the row, make a slip stitch to the first stitch. You will cut a total of 10 half double crochet for row 1. For row 2, make 2 chain. And then make half double crochet increase. Which means 2 half double crochet in the same stitch. I will repeat this pattern. We will cut row 2. At the end of the row, make a slip stitch to the first stitch. We will cut a total of 20 half double crochet for row 2. For row 3, make 2 chain and then make 1 half double crochet. Don't forget to mark with a stitch marker and then make 2 half double crochet into the same stitch. I repeat the pattern of 1 half double crochet and then half double crochet increase for 10 times we will cut row 3 At the end of the row, insert the hook into the first chain. Paint with white color yarn. Make a slip knot. Insert the hook into the slip knot of white yarn. Pull through the yarn. For row 4, make 1 chain. Cut the white yarn. Make 1 single crochet. Don't forget to mark with a stitch marker. And then make increase, which means 2 single crochet into the same stitch. I repeated the pattern of single crochet and increase. 
reward card grow for. At the end of the row, remove the stitch marker, insert the hook into the first chain, and then chain with green color yarn, cut the white yarn, make a slip knot, insert the hook into the slip knot of green yarn, pull through the yarn. Then make one chain. Before folding in half with the white yarn. Insert the hook into the green yarn To fold in half, insert the hook into the back loose of both sides For row 5, make 45 single crochet, which are back loop only For row 6, make 2 chain and then make 45 half double crochet. After that, chain 1, cut the yarn 
and fashion of with the yarn Use black yarn to make this. Now we got watermelon slice. We have already made two types of watermelon. Let's make another type of watermelon. Firstly, we will use add cream yarn. Make a magic ring. Twist yarn like this. Insert the hook, pull through the yarn and do like this. You will cut a magic ring. For row one, make this single crochet into the magic ring. Pull the yarn to tighten up the hook. Make a slip stitch to the first stitch. For row 2, make one chain. Insert the hook and pull through the yarn. Chain with green yarn. Make a slip knot. Insert the hook into the slip knot of green yarn. Pull through the green yarn. Insert the hook into the same stitch. Pull through the yarn. Change with light green yarn. Pull through the light green yarn. We got one increase and repeat this pattern.
At the end of the row, make a slip stitch to the first stitch. We will cut a total of 3 single crochet for row 2. For row 3, make 1 chain. After that, make 1 single crochet. And then insert the hook and pull the yarn. Change with green yarn. Pull through the green yarn. Insert the hook into the same stitch. Pull through the green yarn. Chain with light green yarn. Pull through the light green yarn. We got one single crochet and one increase. By repeating this pattern, we will cut row 3. At the end of the row, make a slip stitch to the first stitch. For row 4, make 1 chain Then make 2 single crochet And then insert the hook and pull through the yarn Chain with green yarn Pull through the green yarn, insert the hook into the same stitch, pull through the green yarn, chain with light green yarn, and pull through the light green yarn. We got 2 single crochet and 1 increase. By repeating this pattern, we will cut row 4. At the end of the row, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch to the first stitch. For row 5, make 1 chain and then make 3 single crochet. After that, insert the hook and pull the yarn. Chain with green yarn. 
pulled through the green yen and then insert the hook into the same stitch and pull through the green yen. Chain with light green yen and pull through the light green yen. We got 3 single crochet and 1 increase. I repeated this pattern. You will cut row 5. At the end of the row, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch to the first stitch. For row 6 to row 11, make 1 chain and then make 5 single crochet. For row 12, make 1 chain. After that, make 3 single crochet of light green yarn and 1 decrease of green yarn. I repeated this pattern, we will cut row 12.
or rotating make one chain and then make two single crochet of light green yarn and one decrease of green yarn. I repeat this pattern, we will catch rotating. For row 14, make 1 chain, after that make 1 single crochet and 1 decrease. By repeating this pattern, we will catch row 14. Don't forget to stuff with fiber feet. For row 15, make 1 chain. After that, make 6 decrease. At the end of the row, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch to the first stitch. After that, cut the yarn and western off. Use the yarn needle. Insert the needle only into the front loops. Tighten up to close the hole. Now we got mini watermelon. This 
saw the three types of mini watermelon I've prepared for this tutorial. You can attach with gearing. Three types of mini watermelon keychains are ready for you. You can use as a photo cut by the charm. I hope you are enjoying this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. See you next time.